Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Nodding. In this episode, I'm gonna try to repurpose this uh, spare chop pixel trigger fluid inflow setup for um, an, a different purpose. So basically, if you ever find a need for the node tree, normally I just uh, you can go to GitHub and then search for it. Say you want to look things that related to pixel, and you can find it quite easily. Eventually, I think the library, my library grows like really big. I don't know if GitHub is the right place to store everything, but for now, I just uh, use GitHub and then you can download the blend inside the zip and you can simply drag and drop it into Blender. So this is how I usually work. And sometimes I do forget my own setup. So this is, how we do it. So let's save it as, um, save it in the desktop, pixel for um, music. Now let's just call it like that. It's not gonna be like a playable music yet, but gonna delete everything here. So we have nothing in the scene. We don't need all this uh, fluid uh, emitter. So this one's gonna stop working. Delete, delete, file, save. So what So what do we have here exactly? We have 2D image, right? With X and Y value. Uh, X and Y in resolutions, it's very low resolutions. This is eight by 20. And we can turn this into something that potentially becoming like a musical. Uh, if we, sample it either vertically or horizontally or vertically and by using this uh if, if white value is like an on and then black value is an off you can use on and off to kind of create music uh, maybe you have seen something like this um, in a game uh, recently i think the beat the beat saber is actually a, a famous one it's where you know you have like this kind of so you have this, your standing position, and you have this, uh, this kind of box that's kind of getting close to you, and you need to slash it. That's a bit saber, but uh, in the past, there's a lot, a lot of game like this. Like, uh, um, I think Japanese game. Um, there's a drum. That's uh, what's the name? Let me think. Taiko, Taiko no Tetsujin. So this game from Japanese game company is very, very famous, basically. So you have this uh, kind of cue to hit the drum left, right, or the side, whatever. So this is like kind of like a rhythm, rhythmic game. So we're gonna try to make similar setup here. I still don't know how I want it to work. We can we can set it up like maybe it's like circular, and then the beats you know can rotate like a like a phenol, and this is something that you can print out, or it can be simpler, whether it's a uh, horizontal or vertical. So we have this kind of a pixel, right? And the pixel goes up whenever the pixel hits the the line is gonna create a sound so that's the idea you can do it vertically or horizontally and everything will be based on this pixel so it's a uh, that's the the rough plan so let's investigate our pixel once again we have this sample image goes in uh, this is spare chalk nodes spare chalk add-on nodes in blender we split it mm. Oh, this is for the RGB, so we split it into four value, RGBA. For what we are doing, we only care about one value, either RGB or can be the alpha. Something to keep in mind. This can be like a full RGBA image with uh, maybe with depth. And we don't need to see this. Save this again. Split. So the first split, split into eight. So we want to do it vertically, I guess. So eight. This is going to be 8 um, melody, melody, 
So, you know, like, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do, so eight. And we have 20, 20 row. So eight columns of melody and 20 rows of uh, total, the total sound, okay? So yeah, I think everything should work. So we have this, uh, some kind of triggering system already. I think let's give it some kind of context. So we either want it to be a ring or maybe like a cylinder. Uh, if I display this, so ring looks something like that. Let's zoom on it. So imagine this ring and you have eight melody and 20 radial, you know, like, so here you can start to see what we're going to create. So if you place like a cylinder on every ring, then when you print it out, maybe it will, it can be like a, like a working example of this, uh, some kind of instruments to make uh, music. So that's one way to do it. We can also use cylinder. Um, yeah. Probably it's better if I rotate it, but don't worry about that too much. Similar idea. If we have like a... Okay, that's a... Just now I saw the image. This guy right here. This is the... This is what I'm trying to create. Japanese music box. So you can see we have all these dots that's placed in the on the cylinder and then it's gonna trigger a sound based on this metal right here. In Blender, if you want to do it, we can use either Blender uh, normal environment or we can use Blender game engine, which is 2.79, it still exists on 2.79, 2.8, no more uh, Blender game, but uh, with Blender game, you can have like an interactive um, sound triggering system. So that's a little bit complicated, right? But uh, don't worry too much. Let's uh, let's work with this first. So I think this is simpler. So the ring, we want to place a cylinder on every face, whenever it's a uh, which is based on this pixel. So how do we do that? Uh, I think the easiest, really the easiest, is to use list masking. Get the center of polygons, first of all. So get the center of each polygon. Let's look at the center. That's the center of each polygon. And you can already see, right, each dot can represent the pixel. We simply Whenever there's a white color, it's going to be where we place a cylinder for our uh, ring. So for that, we probably can just use list masking. And this might be simpler than I thought. It could be uh, not as simple, but uh, let's see. List split this. So I suppose this already give you like a zero and one value, and that can be something that we can use to mask our our data. Yeah, I, if this is correct, um, then we are pretty much done. I might be wrong, but so, so let's just try this. So that's our cylinder, it's too tall. Reduce the number. Okay. And that's our ring. So you got the idea, that's really what we need to do. So 
we have one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. It could be that the row and column is a bit wrong because we don't have there's a one dot there which is a little bit strange. Maybe I need to kind of flip the row and column. So flip this flip. So I think I did it. So it's wrong. Um, How about this? This one is also doesn't seem to be correct, but uh, but one of these definitely should work. For now, I think I'm gonna save it. How about we split it uh, by 20? So we have 8 and is this the correct data? I'm not quite sure yet. Should go back to the original. So we have data, we have split it by 20. And the result goes into the mask. Didn't work right away. Let's look at the data. So the data is correct, right? It's like 0 and 1. And this should be for the mask. And we probably just need to join it. I don't know. I think. At first, I thought it, it will it will just work. So one two, so we have one two one two three four one two three four five six seven. Okay, apparently I made a mistake with this uh, number. Should be more like so. Okay, now it's correct. This thing. This ring is radial. This guy is a pixel, which is a square, or um, you know, it has x and y. It's rectangle. Okay. So if we put this rectangle into radial, we get this result, and it's divided into twenty, I believe. One, two, three. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 20 by 9. This might be the right way. So we have uh, 2 pixel and then another two and we have this smiley and then this value all right so <clears throat> let's save this file save as 10 if i just paint on this guy so i erase everything now i'm gonna use these dots This is gonna be for our melody, right? That uh, seems to be working. So, if I delete everything again, go back, and if I, you know, I try to make like a music. So, one, two, three. So, me, 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 fa, so. 
I don't know, just random. You can have two melody on one row. And this guy will update. So, so ideally, uh, with this guy, if you if you if you just bake it, you're gonna get some kind of uh, rotating uh, vinyl, and that you can print, and it will it will trigger music. I have seen something similar, so similar to this music box, it's like a vinyl toy to create. to create music so of course for this you need some some kind of spinner but yeah you get the idea you you simply bake it probably join everything and this guy is something that you can print go to edit mode so let me select this guy extrude it down so now it has some kind of depth so you simply rotate it and here you need some kind of uh, another device that makes sound okay so that's the idea really it's a uh, sorry it took in, it's uh, taking me a little bit of time to make sense of this but yeah so we learned that we can turn any kind of uh, data into music or you know any sound into back into data it's a uh, it's quite interesting even though this is kind of simple it's really really simple and it shouldn't take this long to explain but you get the idea it's kind of cool that we can do this using nodes as uh, spread chalk add-on thanks to spread chalk add-on and we can do it inside blender i don't know how blender gonna evolve in the future 2.8 is still being developed but if 2.8 um, if blender has some kind of node system it might be uh, interesting the node system can be like uh, can be for anything you know like modeling it can be for the logic um, the node system for game it's probably gonna be slightly different I don't know I haven't I haven't really tried it whether it's on armory or Godot Godot engine um, it's it's the area that I haven't I haven't really touched but uh, I'm interested to learn on that uh, to look into that for now, <clears throat> Blender and Nodes uh, framework like Spreadshock or Animation Nodes are still <clears throat> I still not forgetting about Animation Nodes because this kind of thing can also be done using Animation Nodes if Animation Nodes have um, some kind of uh, pixel pixel reader nodes. But even so, with this guy, you can once this is created, right? You can you can rotate it in here and then if you rotate this guy you can also create some kind of a trigger system so you you have like another objects that kind of check if there is a cylinder that pass through create a sound create a sound you can use a um, sonic pi python and sonic pi that's kind of like almost like real time or you can use um, osc and then sending signal to generate sound so that's a uh, can be interesting to try that way from this uh, image it can be any image can be your your photograph maybe you just reduce it to black and white so on and off zero or one you can then use it to generate sound I don't know it uh, if it's gonna work but there's I always have this idea for a while I just haven't really used it so there you go, that's um, kind of like a musical box generator and hopefully you find this useful. I think this is the machine that I was looking for. No. I'm pretty sure I have seen something similar on YouTube channel. 
so you have some kind of box that can generate sound simply by having dots well anyhow so there you go hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye